Hi there. My name is Emma, and today we have a very exciting lesson for you, a very exciting grammar lesson. Now, I know some of you are probably thinking, can grammar really be that exciting? Well, I think yes. Yes, it can. We're going to be looking at the difference between among, amongst, and between. Okay? So what we're going to do is first we're going to look at uh, how teachers often tell you what the difference is. So I'm going to call this the simple difference between among and between. And then we're going to look at when this rule, this, this simple difference rule, doesn't work. Okay? So we're going to look at the rule, and then we're going to look at when the rule doesn't work. So let's get started. So a lot of teachers, you may have heard this before, they often say that we use between when we're talking about two of something. So maybe two people, two items, um, two animals, two objects. And we use among when we're talking about three or more items. Again, it can be people, objects. Um, so this is what a lot of teachers say. And in general, this, this rule does work. But again, there are many exceptions to this rule, which I will talk about um, in the second part of this video. So let's look at the first sentence, which is an example. The bill was split between Frank and Mark. Okay, so we have two people. So this is okay. Uh, between Frank and Mark. The bill was split, meaning when you go to a restaurant, at the end of your dinner, they give you a piece of paper and it might say $40. This is how much you have to pay. So what Frank and Mark did is they split the bill between them, meaning Frank paid some and Mark paid some. Okay, a second example, between you and me, I think Jane should tell her mom the truth. So what does this mean? Well, again, there's two of us, you and me. And oftentimes we use between to say, let's keep this a secret between us. So between you and me, I think Jane should tell her mom the truth. Now you may have noticed I underlined me in red marker. Some people, especially native speakers, they think this is I. They think between you and I, I think Jane should tell her mom the truth. This is in fact incorrect. Because between is a preposition, it should be me after. But you will hear a lot of people say between you and I. You'll hear it all the time. It's not grammatically correct. Okay. In our third example, we're using among. Among the books, I saw an old photo. Okay, so books, there's, there's more than two in this case. It's, it might not be clear, but I'm talking about more than two books. Um, Another sentence, I walked among the trees. Okay, so now we're going to look at when this rule, two items versus three plus items, does not apply, when this rule doesn't work. Okay, so if you look over here, we have between, between, and between. And on this side we have among, among, and among. Well, what do you notice about these sentences? Take a second to read them. I must choose between U of T, UBC, and McMaster University. Are there two items in that sentence? No, there's three items. And yet we use between. Same with the next one. There was an agreement between members of the Justin Bieber fan club, uh, the Katy Perry fan club, and the Black Sabbath fan club. So again, we have three items. We could, we could even add to this. We could say the Marilyn Manson fan club and, the, the, and Kiss Nation, for example. Okay, here again, there is a trade agreement between Mexico, Canada, and the United States. So I said before that we use between for two and among for three. But you see here, this isn't the case. So my point is, Although between is often used between two things, it's not always. 
Sometimes between is used with more than two things. So how do we know when to use among and when to use between in this case for these exceptions? Well, we use among when we're talking about groups where um, the group is general, there aren't specified members, and you know, it's like a mass of people. Okay, so an undefined group, um, you could call it. So I'm calling it a group noun. So an example, I must choose among universities in Canada. I'm not talking about specific universities, I'm talking about universities as a whole. Okay, now compare this to where we use between. Now we use between when we're talking about individual relationships or one-to-one -one relationships. So for example, I must choose between the University of Toronto, the University of British Columbia, and McMaster University. So in this case, we're talking about universities as a whole group. In this case, we're talking about the relationship between me and U of T, me and UBC, and myself and McMaster University. Okay? So just, if you compare these two sentences, I'm, I'm hoping it will become a little bit clearer to you. Let's look at another example. There was an agreement among all members. Okay? So we're not talking about specific members with specific names. We're talking about members as a whole group. All right? As a, it, it's considered a mass noun, a collective group. Now, if we compare this to there was an agreement between members of the Justin Bieber fan club, the Katy Perry fan club, and the Black Sabbath fan club, we're now talking about a one-to-one -one relationship. There was an agreement between the Justin Bieber fan club and the Katy, Fer <laughs> Katy Perry fan club, the Justin Bieber fan club and the Black Sabbath fan club, the Justin Bieber fan club and if we had Kiss Nation, Kiss Nation. Um, there was an agreement between Katy Perry fan club and Black Sabbath fan club, uh, and so forth. So the main thing is we're talking about one-to-one -one relationships. Okay. Our third example, trade agreements exist among countries. We're not talking about distinct countries. We're not talking about specific countries. We're talking about countries as a group, as a collective whole. Whereas in this case, there is a trade agreement between Mexico, which is a distinct country, Canada, again, specified individual country, and the United States. Okay, so if you compare these sentences, you'll notice here it's looking at a whole, a group as a whole, and when we use between, it's looking at one-to-one -one relationships. So let's look at some more um, let's look at some more examples of when we would use between versus among. Okay, so I just explained some of the difficult rules. Now we're going to look at some of the easier rules between between and among. So one easy rule is when we use the word difference. If you have the word difference in the sentence, use between. For example, there is a difference between the Canadian, the Australian, and uh, the New Zealand accent. Okay? So anytime you see difference, there is a difference between cats, dogs, and polar bears. Another example, there is a difference between DVDs, Blu-ray discs, and VHS tapes. So anytime you see difference, use between. Now opposite to this, when we use distribute, use among. Okay, so for example, the tips were distributed among the waitresses. Okay, tips were distributed among the waitresses. So if you see the word distribute, use among. Okay, next let's talk about location. Often we use between and among when we're talking about physical location. So when we use between, we're talking about a specific path or point. 
So for example, um, Bolivia, it's a country in South America. It lies between Chile, Peru, Brazil, Argentina, oh, I wrote Brazil twice, Paraguay. I think Paraguay, from what I remember. Okay, so Bolivia lies between Chile, Chile, Peru, Brazil, Argentina, and Paraguay. So if we drew this on a map, I know Bolivia doesn't look like a circle, but just pretend for a second. Okay, we can have Chile here, Peru here, Brazil here, Argentina here, and Paraguay here. I, I know or South America looks nothing like this. This kind of looks like a flower. But just for you to understand the idea, with between, you should be able to put an X. It's something specified, okay? So another example, sometimes we talk about when we're walking. I walked between the trees and the house. So this is a path, it's a defined path. Okay, now compare this to among. When we use among, there's no defined path. If I had a picture like this with a whole bunch of trees, I could say, I'm among the trees. Meaning you can't really put an X where I am. Here, you can put an X. It's a defined path. You know where I am. When I'm talking about among the trees, you, it, it's not specific. Okay. So now let's learn about the word amongst, and then we will do a quiz together. Okay. So up at the top of the board, I have the word amongst. Okay, and I have the example, talk amongst yourselves. So I hear this fairly often. Teachers use it a lot in Canada. But in the United States, they don't usually, people don't usually like to use amongst. They find it old fashioned and archaic, meaning they, they don't really use it that often. So in the United States, you would probably use among. You wouldn't use amongst. But in Canada, sometimes, and in Britain, You'll hear people sometimes say amongst. So this is a difference between American English and British English. Okay. Um, and it, it's often used just like among. So now let's look at two different meanings of among. The first one I have is among can also mean included in. Okay, so what do I mean by this? Well, I have an example sentence. Among those in the audience was Arnold Schwarzenegger, okay? So in this case, I mean included in the audience, there was Arnold Schwarzenegger. He was in the audience. He was included in the audience. Among can also mean one of. So for example, Lake Huron or Lake Superior. Uh, we'll say Lake Huron. Lake Huron is among the largest freshwater lakes in the world, meaning it's one of the largest freshwater lakes in the world. Not the largest, but one of the largest. So we can also use among uh, to mean these two things. And you'll see this very common. Okay, so now let's do three test questions together. Okay? So number one, there is a difference then or then. Do you think it's among or between? So there is a difference then or then. Well, one thing I would notice, first of all, the word difference, that's a hint. Secondly, we only have two items, so that's another hint. So if you said between, you're correct. There is a difference between then and then. Okay, sentence number two. We have a traitor us. We have a traitor us. So in this case, what do you think it is? If you said among, you're correct. We're looking at us as a whole group, not distinct individuals. Okay, number three. So either among or between, cooking, studying, and working. 
I have no time to play video games. Okay, so do you think it's between or among? Okay, so I know there are three objects, but are they a group or are they individual? They're individual. Between cooking, studying, and working, I have no time to play video games. Okay, so I invite you to come practice uh, the difference between among and between at our website at www.ingvid.com. We have a quiz there, so you can double check to make sure you, you get the meaning. Um, and so until next time, take care.